Hello everybody and welcome to day 10 of my beginner sewing course. Today we're going to be learning how to do a straight hem. Uh, actually, the next couple of videos are going to be all about hems. So tomorrow is going to be a rolled hem and then the next day is going to be a lettuce hem. So I know they look like they're really easy, like why would you even make a video about that? But like they're actually really hard. Like I used to struggle with hems a lot until I discovered how to like properly do them. So that's what I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to do today and in the next couple of days. Um, I'm sorry for my outfit. I know it's not the most fashion. Um, this shirt actually belonged to my grandpa, who then gave it to my dad, who then didn't give it to me. I just like stole it from him. Um, I was just feeling a little lazy today. You know, I didn't want to wear a full, full cute outfit, but I did do my makeup at least. So there's that. All right, enough, enough rambling. Let's get into the video. All right, everybody. So what you're going to do is just start out with a piece of uh, uh, muslin or whatever fabric you have on hand uh, and cut out a triangle, uh, a triangle, what? A rectangle and uh, try to cut it as straight as you can uh, just so it's like actually uh, perfect. And what you're going to do is get your um, iron out and a clear ruler. And the first step uh, to hemming your fabric is to just fold that hemline like this about a half an inch so you can finger press it a little bit and then what you're going to do is actually press it with your iron So try to be as precise as you can, but it's fine if it's not like a perfect half inch. Just try to make it um, the same amount everywhere. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Let's just see if it's half an inch. Yep, yeah, it's about half an inch. What time you'll kind of be able to um, eye it out. I don't know if that's the real term, uh, but like you'll know your inches. So yeah, this is this is a good start. And what you're gonna do now is fold that fabric again, but this time instead of half an inch, fold it one inch. So a one inch might be a little harder to uh, to tell. So yeah, I'm missing a little bit. Let's see now. Yeah, it's better. Oh yeah, this is good. All right, so make it one inch everywhere. And then once it is, you can just press it again. Perfect. And just keep repeating that until you have a one inch hem everywhere. It's pretty good. Perfect. Look at that nice press. Now it's gonna make it very, very easy to just sew. And what you're gonna do is just sew along that edge here. So let's bring it to the sewing machine. So what you're gonna do is select the straight stitch and I like a longer stitch length, uh, kind of like when I'm top stitching. Uh, I know my nail is broken, <laughs> whoops. So I'm gonna choose three. So let's get to sewing. So you're going to want to sew as close to that edge as possible. Uh, think one eighth of an inch. So now you can just lower down your presser foot and try to align your needle with the edge. This is, uh, it's fine, but it could be a little closer. Okay, this is good. So now you can just start sewing. Don't forget to back tack, of course. Okay. 
And here, going slow is the best thing you can do to help yourself. And just really try to make sure that you stay on that line. Or as close to that line as possible, I should say. And so once you get to the end, don't forget the back tack. And trim off your thread. And there you have it. A perfectly straight hem. Ugh, what is that? <gasps> Must be chocolate. Okay, no, it's not chocolate. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. Look how nice that looks. Super neat, super straight. Um, the key here, it really is just to press your fabric beforehand. And now we're out... Now we're also gonna give it another press just to make sure it lays perfectly flat. So let's do that. So I'm just gonna trim up my thread. Perfect. And now give it a good press. like that now you have your beautiful hem that simple well there you have it a straight hem uh, as you can see it's very easy I know today's video was short but it's because it truly is that simple um, there are other ways to do a straight hem like what I've done before is just use my serger uh, and then folded that edge so instead of pressing it you can just serge it and that kind of gives you a guide um, I don't like that as much though because it creates a bulky seam. As you can see, this is really flat, so it looks nice. And remember how I folded it half an inch and then folded it again one inch? You can kind of like do whatever you want. So you can fold it again two inches or just another half inch and it's all gonna look good. I just really like, really like one inch. I think it looks really professional. And you can also adjust uh, the stitch length to whatever you like. And your homework for today is going to be to just practice your straight hem. Um, try out different ones, um, different lengths, and just make sure it's like really flat. Press it as much as you can. And yeah, I mean, it's really just that simple. So just keep practicing that and I will see you in day 11.